For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone with ACU men's basketball coach Joe Golding as we talk a little Wildcat Hoops. Big week for the men's team as they host University of New Hampshire and then Saturday against a Big Ten opponent in the University of Nebraska. Coach, let's first back up and talk about the week that just was. Four games in seven days, three different time zones, uh, against four different conferences, how big of a grind was it for your team? Uh, there was a grind. There's no question, and and um, you know it was tough um, for for our guys, especially with an inexperienced team that's not used to that before. Uh, but the the good thing is, I, I think that the grind made us better and made us tougher, and we uh, we were able to handle different uh, situations. Um, you know, sometimes you get into a, a rhythm and a ritual at home, and even when you travel on the road in conference play, of you know your practices and your shoot arounds, they all look the same they're all kind of at the same time and on this trip it couldn't be that way you know we were all over the map on where we had to do things and practice to shoot arounds to breakfast to eating uh, you know different meals throughout the day so uh, we threw a bunch of new stuff at our guys we made a bunch of changes and I thought overall uh, our guys responded uh, to some of that well and then obviously some of that we didn't respond too well so uh, the more stuff we can throw at our at our team right now uh, with so much youth and so much inexperience I think the more will pay off down the road. And we didn't mention this, but you had to you squeeze in a Thanksgiving meal in the midst of all of that last week at the team hotel. You went one and three on the week. One of the three losses was, I would think, to the best team of that four that you played. Colorado State up in Fort Collins last Tuesday night. You went to double overtime. You hit a shot at the halftime buzzer, a shot at the regulation buzzer, and you hit a shot with six seconds to go in the first overtime to keep extending the game. Given how good Colorado State is, is and figures to be this year even in the loss could that be the kind of thing that gives your team confidence moving forward? Well, you hope so. You know, I mean, you'd like to, you know, the big thing in changing a program is you got to get kids in that locker room to believe, you know, and we've talked a lot about that. The good thing for us, we got a lot of new guys that don't care about the history of our men's basketball program. And so all those kids come from programs that have won. And uh, you could tell in the locker room after the game how upset they were that we lost, you know. And so mm. um, I, I think the big key is believing. And when you have a new group and you're trying to put new pieces, you got to you got to have that moment of success together where you kind of say, oh, okay, you know what what they're trying to get us to do works and uh, although we didn't get the win I think it was an eye-opening experience for our guys that hey we can play at this level we get we got some pieces uh, uh, to, to the puzzle this year that can do some things to win but we we obviously left there and, and you want to bottle that up and continue to get better with it and um, so yeah I think that for 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 our guys I think they came out of there with some confidence uh, knowing that they could play and, and belong at this level uh, but at the same time there was uh, it wasn't a win, you know, like you and I talked about. We still lost the game, and uh, we got to find a way to get one. It's really interesting, though, that, that these guys, they don't know who Larry no. Eustachy is of Colorado State. They, 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 it's just an opponent, right, to play. Yeah, I mean, they know they're good. I mean, right. you can tell that yeah, when sure. you show up in the arena and you can tell the money that they put in men's basketball compared to, you know, to our level. And so uh, there's definitely the, the arenas are bigger, the crowds are bigger. The, the You know, I was laughing when we came into practice, that football team was getting out of practice, and they have the unlimited meals. You know, they're eating, uh, they're eating as much food as they want everywhere. And so, you know, we're giving our guys five bucks in the airport. So. <laughs> Ten bucks. I'm kidding. We, yeah. uh, I don't want that to hurt some recruiting. We take care of our guys, man. We we eat well and stay well. But you know, the figure they, speech. They 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 don't know Larry yeah. Stacy, but yeah, they know it's a different level and they know Colorado State's a good team. And and I was proud of them for bouncing back after what happened in Portland. And uh, you know, we've talked a lot about this, Grant, even through the summer. And I don't think anything's changed. Now we're still figuring out our team. We got a lot of new pieces, and we're still trying to put this puzzle together. And uh, there's going to be nights that look like Colorado State, and there'll be nights that look like uh, Oakland. Uh, and and we got to continue to try to uh, minimize the nights that look like Oakland and Portland and, and, and maximize the nights that look like Colorado State. And I think that just comes with more practice time and, and, and more time playing together. And the other thing to remember is you're not going to be playing a whole lot of teams as good offensively as Oakland or as good overall as Colorado State as you move forward. But you do have two big games this week. Home against New Hampshire. They bring a, a roster full of, of Texas kids. They had one of their best seasons in the last 20 years, one of the best in school history last year, and they got a lot of those guys back. They're going to be tough, aren't they? Yeah, they are. We started uh, game prep for them on Sunday, and uh, we've, we've been able to watch them on tape uh, and then also watch some film from last year, and they're a tough team. They got four out of five starters back. Uh, they're very experienced ball club. Um, what you and I were just talking about, belief you know, in winning, they, they won last year finally. They, they were a program that had, had struggled, and they got kind of through that and won some big games, and their program took off, and they had a great season last year, one 
of the best in school history, made the postseason. And I think this year they have higher expectations. They want to take it to a different level. And they come in here four and two uh, with a good record, uh, very good ball club. It, it, it's a terrific home game for us. Uh, you know, anytime you can get quality opponents uh, to come to Abilene Christian in non-conference play, that's hard to do. So we're extremely excited that they were willing to uh, start at home and home. There's no secret why they wanted to do that. They have Texas kids on their roster. And uh, I'm sure Texas, th those kids uh, from Texas are excited to get on the plane and come down here and play in front of their family and friends. And uh, I'm assuming we'll get their best shot. I know that all of the focus is on New Hampshire, but just less than 48 hours later, about 36 hours, in fact, you'll play in Lincoln, Nebraska against University of Nebraska. Tim Miles, who had been at Colorado State, has done some good things. That's a pretty good team this year, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's uh, you know we, we were able to get that game late, and we looked at it, and we were trying to have a, f a hard time figuring it in with their dates and our dates, and we were able to squeeze it in this Saturday before our finals. It's going to be tough travel for us. Uh, we're going to have to leave here early Friday morning. I think we're flying, uh, driving to Dallas, flying to Atlanta, waiting in Atlanta, finally getting into Omaha. And uh, but that's 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 what you do at our level right now uh, to be able to play at Nebraska. And I thought it would be good for our guys. Number one, I've got a ton of respect uh, for their basketball program and obviously what Coach Miles has done. And uh, the second thing is they play in an unbelievable arena. They're going to be 15,000 people there. Uh, they have one of the best attendance uh, records in college basketball right now. Uh, so I think our guys will enjoy it. I think it'll be a fun atmosphere. I think we'll put them in a hostile environment. They'll, they'll face some adversity. And I look forward to seeing if uh, we can respond to it. And football's over in Nebraska, so they can turn their attention to, yeah, to basketball. True. So, yeah, yeah. yeah we're in a they're not <laughs> playing the, the championship <laughs> yeah. game. But the good news is it is going to be played indoors, <laughs> which right. I've checked that's on, right. so that's good. <laughs> so it's New Hampshire at Moody Coliseum, 7 o'clock Thursday night, part of the Christmas Slam game. Lots of fun giveaways, including a year of tuition to one lucky fan. And Nebraska in Lincoln, Nebraska, on Saturday at 1 p.m. For Coach Joe Golding, I'm Grant Boone for ACUSports.com.